Hey everybody, appreciate you joining us here at T-Roy Cooks. My good friends at Low Bells of New York, they've sent me two USDA Prime dry aged bone-in filet mignon. Bone-in filet mignon. Did you catch that? Anytime you can get a bone-in steak, folks, it is so much more better than any anything that you can get that's boneless. So I would highly urge you if you can get this bone-in filet Go for it, or any other bone-in steak for that matter. I don't know if you knew, I actually didn't know either, but this August the 13th, it is National Filet Mignon Day. So in celebration of National Filet Mignon Day, Lobel's is running a promotion on their USDA Prime Filet Mignon. From 9 a.m. Eastern, August the 8th, through 4 p.m. Eastern, August the 12th, if you order two you get one free. And this includes USDA Prime Bone-In Filet Mignon or USDA Prime Boneless Filet Mignon. You choose, but you buy two, you get one free during that promotional period. On top of that, Lil Bells is offering a $100 gift certificate from Lil Bells of New York to one of my subscribers. So I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna work. You've gotta be a subscriber of my channel, T-Roy Cooks, and you must leave a comment below on this video that mentions the word Lobel's. Anything you can write, it, you know, it just doesn't matter. As long as it includes the word Lobel's and you are a subscriber to T-Roy Cooks, you are eligible. August the 14th, which I believe is a Sunday, I will choose a randomly drawn winner. And I'll probably choose a second just in case I don't hear from the actual winner, uh, just as a backup. So uh, y'all stay tuned for the video showing who I'm randomly selecting as the winner for this $100 gift certificate from Low Bells of New York. Hope y'all stick around for this video. It's gonna be a great video. Again, I'm doing, a, I'm doing two USDA Prime bone-in dry-aged filet mignons from Low Bells of New York. Oh, man, my mouth's just watering just thinking about this. This is gonna be a great video. Y'all stick around, folks. All right, everybody, these are those fabulous steaks. I'm just going to throw in a little bit of olive oil on each side. Filet mignon doesn't have a whole lot of fat, but y'all check out that marbling on here, man. USDA Prime, got to love it. Fresh cracked black pepper, folks. Keeping it simple. Fresh cracked Himalayan sea salt. You go pretty heavy with the salt. It'll give you a nice crust. I'm going to do the same thing the other side. We'll meet you right back. Hey folks, I forgot to mention, when you first pull these steaks off, or not off, when you first pull them out of the, uh, the packaging, you need to let them bloom for about 15, 20 minutes at room temperature. <clears throat> so take them out of that packaging, let them sit in the air for about 15, 20 minutes before you use them, before you season them. All right, uh, Karen wants hers uh, about a medium to medium well, so I'm gonna let that go a little bit longer than mine. I want mine like a medium rare. And I'm thinking this front one's going to be mine. That's the bigger one. They're both about the same size, give or take a couple ounces. They look fabulous, though. We'll be back here. I'm probably going to go about uh, two or three minutes on mine per side and uh, probably about five or six minutes per side on Karen's. We'll meet you back. We're at three minutes. So let's go ahead and see if this one will flip over. You can see it's starting to flame up a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. And you have to be careful when you're doing USD Prime or Wagyu. I've, like I said before, it will flame up more readily because there's a lot more fat, a lot more marbling in the meat. So just be careful and watch it. When If you've never cooked USDA Prime or Wagyu, watch it. Well, that's three minutes on each side, so a total of six minutes for this one. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and flip Karen's over. If you ever Try to pull a steak away from a grill and it doesn't want to come off, don't force it. Don't scrape it off the grill. That means it's not quite cooked enough on that side, usually, unless you got just some blaring heat, you know, some flames coming from beneath. But uh, usually that's that's a sign you need to just let it sit there and finish cooking. That looks gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and sit this up here. We're going to let that finish cooking. I've got this side over here on like a medium. And we're going to let Karen's finish for another six minutes on that side. And mine's going to finish cooking up here. Let's check this out. It's been six minutes on this side now. Spin this around so y'all can actually see it, what's going on here. 
tell you what, folks, that is one gorgeous looking steak. Oh my gosh. Let's check the internal temp of it. Let's see what we got. Internal temp is reading 130. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish cooking up here. See the other side? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let's check mine. See what the internal temp of mine is reading over here. Mine's reading 117. So mine's still got a little bit to go too. Let's check on these steaks real quick here. Let's see what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. Goodness, this is some tender steak, folks. Oh, man, if you've got a, uh, a regular like charcoal grill, just set you up a uh, like a hot zone and a indirect zone. You can do the same thing as what I'm doing right here. Let's go ahead and check the temps on Cairns. Showing 141, 140 on that one. What we got on this one? We got uh, 130. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine off after I brush it with a little bit more of this garlic and butter. Oh, this makes the steak taste so good. Y'all gotta try this. It cans a little bit. Yeah, so Cairns probably has, I don't know, I mean, if you're cooking steak, cook it the way you like, folks. Like I said, me and Karen don't like our steaks the same way, so I'm pulling mine off. I'm going to tint it with some foil. I'm going to let Karen's continue to cook with the lid down, and we're going to let it uh, get up to about, uh, what, what did I say earlier, uh, 145 or so, and we'll be back. All right, everybody, let's check this steak out here. This is, this is mine. This is Karen's. Go ahead and cut me in. A little bit off here. There we go. Okay, let's cut some off of this one. There we go. Just like that. Gorgeous steaks, folks. Let's check out this filet mignon, folks. It's gorgeous. Nice crust on it from the grill. Oh my gosh. I love that grill flavor, but I'll tell you what. When you get a bone-in steak, it adds so much flavor. It's indescribable, folks. Bone in filet mignon, only from Lil Bells from New York. Y'all check him out, lilbells.com. Click the link down below in the description box. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all give me a thumbs up and hope y'all share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly.